All right, so I wanted to do a quick video of what to do when you are feeling desperate for money. Hey guys, it's Corinne, welcome back. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, the reason why, I'm, uh, reason why I wanted to make a quick video is because um, I did have a subscriber make a comment that, hey, this information is really great, but what do I do if I am feeling desperate for money? You know, how do you apply this in your life to get you out of that desperate situation where you need money to pay your rent, to pay your bills, to pay your expenses? Um, and so I want to just give a little brief video of personal life experience and what I would do if, hey, you don't have the money and what you need is so far away. Sometimes affirming that, hey, I have all of this money feels really difficult when you are struggling to just cover your living expenses. All right, so let's get into it. First and foremost, I would say to anyone in this situation and understand that everything on the exterior world is a result of what is going on inside of you. Everything on the outside is a result of everything going on in, everything that has gone on, on in the inside of you. Basically, the world is a mirror. It is reflecting back to us who we believe we are, what we believe we have, um, and it could just be a belief that money's hard to make. It could be a belief that money is evil. It could be a belief that I don't have enough money. Um, and uh, sometimes what I have found with this subject particular, particularly is that um, we may be doing some practices to get us in a better state and to change our money situation from the inside out. But we have so many subconscious thoughts about money all day long that you could be canceling those canceling that out. So say, for example, you may be affirming that I love that I'm making more money. I love that more money comes to me easy. But then you go throughout your day and the rest of the day, you may get an email with a bill and you go, oh, I don't have enough money or I got to figure out where to get the money. And so you may have 10 minutes where you sit down and you read or you affirm or you do a manifestation practice, but the other 90% of the time you are faced with the reality or the situation of I don't have enough money. Now, realize that you are affirming when you have these conversations with yourself that I don't have enough money. This is why I don't believe that affirmations are necessarily a technique. I think that they are a way of thinking and a way of life. We are with ourselves 100% of the time. We never leave ourselves. Even when we're asleep, we are with ourselves. And so whatever story you are telling yourself is going to be regurgitated and reflected into the 3D world. So how do you ignore the 3D world and turn your life into that which you desire? The first thing is that you have to know that you can, that you are the God of your reality, that you are powerful, that your imagination is literally creating your life. Your thoughts have the ability to manifest. Um, so that's the first thing is that you need to know that. And I would highly recommend you do some reading or listening. And I would say books specifically on the power of your subconscious mind. Um, books like Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, very powerful book. Um, so having that knowing and also knowing, even if you're not studying or reading any of that literature, just knowing that, hey, these thoughts are what are creating. So you need to deliberately withdraw yourself on a regular basis from this exterior world and you need to go within. Now, there's lots of things that we can do to deliberately create and go within. The first thing that I would recommend is having some form of a uh, gratitude practice or a journaling practice first thing in the morning where you can reflect back on times in your lives that you've had an abundance of money or something that you can be thankful for, appreciative for, because I find that it puts you, puts us in the state of consciousness of I have enough. And so when you are going throughout your day and you're saying, I don't have enough money to pay my rent. I don't have enough money to pay my mortgage or I don't have enough money to pay for whatever the thing is. When you take that time and go within and affirm to yourself that positive thought of, um, 
I always have enough money. I, I, you know, being thankful for what you do have, writing down, I'm not sure what everyone's situation is, but let's just suppose that you were thankful that you had a job of five years and it always supplied all your needs. I'm thankful that I received this money in the past and I know that money always continues flows to me. So sometimes when we can reflect on past things that we have received, it reassures us that there is money out there, there is abundance, and you almost convince yourself like, hey, I've always had enough money. I've always been taken care of. And you create a, a new assumption instantly of, oh my gosh, I've always been taken care of. And when you start to think that way, more thoughts like that occur to you. You might think, oh, I remember a friend that had a gig for me. I could probably start working part time. And so by taking yourself from this desperate of, I don't have enough, I don't know where it's coming from to, yeah, I've been taken care of. Yeah, opportunities always come to me. I'm the creator of my reality. I can I can manifest money. I can create opportunities. And I think sometimes um, there, there are people that can get caught up in the manifesting that uh, may think that you don't have to work for things or you don't have to do things. Manifesting, in my personal experience, isn't always about, well, let me just sit here and visualize and then a pile of money is going to hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, every time I've increased my money manifesting practices, I have received more business, more opportunity. People give me free stuff. Um, yes, I have manifested a large sum of money. I've definitely manifested $20,000 check, $24,000 checks, um, jobs where I w w wasn't even supposed to receive more money. Suddenly there was some miscalculation and now I have another $2,200 check, larger tax refunds than I was anticipating. So yes, money can come to you in unexpected ways, but don't push away the money that you already have or the the revenue source that already is coming to you. And what I mean by that is we may be working a job, but we may be telling ourselves in our mind that this job doesn't pay me enough money. I never have enough money. Um, I don't have enough money to cover my bills. You may be cursing or condemning the income that you do have coming in and you'll start to see it to slowly dry up because you're telling yourself that it's not enough. And money is like, energy it is energy you don't want to be like i don't have enough and this isn't because that's the vibe you're on with it but if you switch to i've always been taking care of money's constantly coming to me at least i have this order that's coming in i'm thankful for the clients that i do have i'm thankful for the income i do have and oftentimes what i do because i have two small businesses that I will most definitely out loud and in my thoughts when I get um, a text message order or email order or an inbox order. I, even if it's a smaller order, I'm so thankful that I have this client. I will deliberately take time to say their name and say that I am appreciative that they are here and thank you that they are supporting me. And although this customer is not a thousand dollar or a hundred thousand dollar client, they may only be a $200 order. Um, I'm still very thankful, you know. I've had clients that have obviously, in the one business, spent a lot of money, and then sometimes I will get orders that are less than that, and I did have to catch myself like, oh, it's only a small order, oh, it's only this. Don't minimize what's coming to you. Even if it is a small amount, bless it, because that which you bless will multiply. That which you appreciate in life will appreciate and grow. So that's the first thing I would do. I would definitely know that you are creating your world inside out. And then I would deliberately increase my gratitude practice on the things that I have. Because where you place your attention is where you're placing your energy. And that concentration of attention is going to grow. So then you want to try to catch yourself throughout the day when you maybe get an email or you get an alert or you get some kind of sign that you don't have enough money to cover a specific expense or that you're behind on a bill. Listen, bless that bill. Thank you that I have money coming in. Thank you, I know that things are working out. Rather than spiraling in your head of how you don't have enough and how this isn't working out, Remember, the subconscious mind is always responding to you and listening to you. So even if that money is not in your bank account, even if you don't see the large sale, bless what you do have and then affirm that more money is coming to me now. I love that more money is coming to me on my way. I love that more money is coming to me now. Um, the other point I wanted to make is that you want to have some kind of self 
concept affirmations or affirmations regarding and regarding money in general you know it could be one or two affirmations or three four or five whatever you're comfortable with that you say to yourself throughout the day our brain is constantly thinking all day long but most of the times it's pretty scattered. You may have a thought about this, a thought about this. Oh, I got to wash my hair. I got to do this. I got to send this email. You may be thinking a hundred million different things. The power of the mind is so strong that when you concentrate it and focus it, these thought forms are going out. So rather than to have all these little flickering thought forms about think trivial things that don't even matter, you know, maybe it's about your pet. Maybe you got to go to shopping. Maybe it's your whatever dedicate time that you can concentrate your energy deliberately on abundance deliberately on the abundance that you do have and expressing gratitude for it and looping the affirmations of money of the way that you want money to be so money is just like any other relationship we have a story we tell about it i have a story i tell in my head about my fiance about how he's amazing and how he's so in love with me and i'm so in love with him we have a wonderful relationship and i love it the story you have about money is it of that of a lover or is it that of one that you feel scarce and I don't have enough? And do you have negative thoughts about money? If you don't have enough money in your life, you have negative thoughts about money. Make money your lover. I love that I always have enough money. I love that money is constantly pouring into my life. Thank you so much that money is always here for me. I love that I always have more than enough money that I need. And this is the reason why I like to stress affirmations is because with all those thoughts that go that are going on if you dedicate time each day throughout the day to close off your mind close your eyes and go within and affirm for money the way that you desire it to be. So if you desire to, I love that I'm making money every day. I love that I always have more than enough money to cover my expenses. Thank you so much that my money is increasing. Thank you so much that I'm constantly receiving money. Um, one of the things that I like to do, um, I have a couple self-concept affirmations of my own that I'll share. And then I have a couple related to money. You know, one of my self-concepts is I love that I'm a master at manifesting and I literally know everything there is about manifesting. I love that manifesting is so easy. I love that I manifest instantly. I love that I manifest money every single day. I love that I'm receiving money every single day. I love how easy it is to make money. Making money is so easy. Thank you so much that I make money every single day single day. Thank you so much that I always have an abundance of money. Thank you so much that money is constantly flowing in my life. Um, those are just a few. And so if I ever find myself driving, cooking, cleaning, and I start thinking about BS and I catch myself, I say, I'm going to set a timer on my phone. And for the next 10 minutes when I'm chopping these onions, I'm just going to loop. I love that money comes to me every single day. I love that I'm making a thousand dollars a day. I love that I have more than enough money to cover my expenses. I love that I have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars in my bank account and I buy whatever I want. That's one of my favorite ones. I absolutely love to loop that affirmation over and over and over and over. And see, the thing is, is that your mind, it, no matter what, this brain is working. The subconscious mind is working and it is the reproducer. It is going to reproduce whatever we tell ourselves over and over. And because I have that understanding now, I loop over and over and over that the, the, everything in my life is the way that I want it to be and I get to relax and be happy. When you start to loop these things over and over, sometimes, um, you know, when people are trying to visualize it, there can be a bit of a struggle because creating a mental image for something that you don't have can be a sure bit of a struggle. Um, I, I definitely like the loop affirmations throughout the day. They invoke a certain level of confidence and a certain level of feeling. But again, it's because I know, like I know that whatever is happening in here is going to reproduce itself outside. And I've also reflect on my past and I go, if there's something I'm manifesting right now, I'll, I'll look and be like, but I always get what I want. I always have more than enough money. I all like I literally always have more than enough money. I literally always drive whatever car that I want. I literally get every single thing that I want instantly, literally. And so I reflect and I go, oh yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, I remember when I did that. Oh yeah, I remember when I manifested that. That was so quick. It was literally like this. And so build your confidence up if you need to by going back to the things and, and, and expressing gratitude for it to put you in the state of receiving that hey, yeah, 
I'm abundant. You know what I mean? Know who you are. So uh, there was something else I wanted to talk a little bit about. I may have to put it on another video, but um, I just wanted to reiterate, it's important to withdraw from the exterior world. Oh, the other thing I was going to say is that say your affirmations out loud and say them in the mirror. So I have my paper that has several areas in my life that I am just constantly upgrading and improving. And I like to read my paper in the morning as soon as I get out of bed. I don't like getting out of the bed. I don't know who likes to get out of the bed. I'm a morning person and I don't like to get out of the bed. But I read that shit in the bathroom in the mirror and the first couple sentences, I'm tired and I don't feel like it. By the time I get to the third or the fourth line, I'm ready to jump through that mirror because I'm so excited. I'm like, yes, this is who I am. Oh, that's what I was going to start saying. The, when you start affirming, you start identifying with that version of you, not the old story. So when you can say your affirmations in your mind, you can write things down in your journal and you can tell yourself, this is who I am. That is the truth. This is who I am because I said so, because I am the God of my reality. And so read you know, your affirmations in the morning and read them in the afternoon, read them at night, go within. I would recommend just having a combination of your affirmations in your mind and then saying them out loud. And remember to utilize the idle time throughout the day so that you can concentrate the power of your thought form into one specific thing instead of them being scattered over and over. So I hope that helps. I got to run because it's Friday night and I got to go cook my man a nice lobster dinner. So love you guys. Um, make sure you leave me a comment and I can't wait to see you guys on the next video.